Okay. Yo, what's up people? We are back with Metallica. We are reacting to Metallica again, guys. My last Metallica reaction was like three weeks ago. I reacted to the Whiskey in the Jar live from Slane Castle in Ireland. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go and check that one out. Specifically towards the end of the video, when the video was actually finished, um, a song came on that caught my attention and I asked everyone in the comment section, what was the name of the song and whether or not I had reacted to it or not because it kind of sounded familiar but I didn't think I'd heard it. Why did they not show What song is that? So, turns out that song that came on at the end of the last video was called Atlas Rise and yeah man i'm gonna jump into that reaction today guys i figured let's just keep some form of a uh, continuity or is that the word i don't know who cares but basically guys that's gonna be the reaction we're doing today it's been a while since i did any metallica reactions so why not jump into this one it has 35 million views the official music video was uploaded two years ago i'm only gonna imagine that it's probably a bit older than that maybe i don't know maybe this is one of their more recent songs but we have a little bit about the song here. It says, Metallica powers the feelings of carrying on, continuing with what you are doing and letting other people lift on your shoulders while seeing this as a punishment. Okay. In Greek mythology, Atlas was a titan sentenced to support the sky on his shoulders. Okay, so realistically, who gives a shit? But vocalist Hetfield is kicking back against the bitterness and burden of being in that position and claiming it is a punishment he deserves. The song has the don't let the world grind you down feeling with the length of over six minutes of on-spot vocals, a killer riff and a great theme, Metallica definitely conquers the heart of heroic story lovers. Okay guys, so if you've been keeping up with the channel over the last few days or weeks or so, I've kind of become a bit more accustomed to just listening to the song, forgetting about the lyrics for the first listen because a lot of the time these songs have quite intricate lyrics and the artists who write these songs are generally quite smart. And they take a lot of time to write intricate lyrics and go into detail with what they're actually explaining. So for someone like me, not saying that I'm in any way unintelligent, but at a first listen when you're trying to dissect the sound, it can be hard to pick up on the lyrics. So I try not to focus too much on that because a lot of the time you'll just end up getting shit wrong. Um, and it just comes across as a bit annoying to anyone who's obviously listened to the song quite a lot. And you're just coming along and trying to dissect lyrics when you're just not really informed about the song. So... For the first listen, I'm just going to throw the headphones on. Hopefully you guys will just throw the headphones on with me or turn the music up. And we're just going to listen to the song, get the feel of the song. And then obviously over time, if I develop some form of a liking for the song and how it sounds, I will then delve into the lyrics myself in my own time and figure out what the song is actually about. But for the moment, we're just going to react. So please do drop the video a like, sub to the channel if you're new. If you want to see more Metallica, the comment section will be open. Get on that. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what songs you want me to react to. Let's jump into it. Metallica Rise. Hello. Thank you. 
All right, I'm pausing there. Okay, okay. I know I just kind of killed the momentum there a little bit, but I've got some shit to say. All right, so obviously, judging by the appearance of the um, the band, it's quite a new song. Maybe it is about two years old because they are getting on a bit in this video. Um, I love the authenticity. Oh, I can never say this fucking word, but I'm going to try. The authenticity of this music video. Um, to be honest, the behind the scenes kind of uh, vibe to it, the cameraman just literally like recording his feet and then like looking up. Um, not really a lot of emphasis put on the editing, but you can see just the amount of work that goes in behind the scenes to all these music videos, and not the music video, sorry, the, the production of the song. Like even just looking at the setup there in the studio, all the different buttons and shit, like man, I'd say that's kind of like a music producer's fucking wet dream looking at all that shit, but it kind of makes you realize that it's not just as simple as getting together throwing a few vocals on a track, playing the drums for a bit, and then, like, yeah, there's obviously a shit ton of time that goes into this music. Not that I ever really thought otherwise, but when you actually can see it live and you can see them talking it through with the producer and obviously the music, the sound engineer and all this kind of shit, it just makes you appreciate the music a little bit more. Haha, <laughs> even he got a rock. Oh, 
Yes. Oh. Oh shit. Alright, well, that's how you know you've created a fucking banger when you just stab your drum kit at the very end of it. For the first like two and a half minutes or so, I was like, I just haven't heard this song. This was not the song that I heard at the end of my last video, but then it broke about halfway through the song, maybe like six tenths of the way in, that's being quite specific, but you'll see the point at which I realized it was the song that I had heard at the end, and man, that shit bangs. The main points from the video I really liked was the kind of fun vibe they had going on with it. It just looked really laid back. It was just like, obviously, a studio session that they happened to record. And um, whether or not this was actually the recording session or one of the recording sessions for this song, or whether or not they just took like stock footage of them recording for any else song, but it looked fairly like they were all just getting involved, having a good time. And honestly, for a band that's been running for so many years, obviously, like I said, this one is obviously, um, I've said obviously like 15 times in a row there, but this album or this song is probably one of their more newer songs, judging by how old they all look. Don't get me wrong, they look great for rock stars, man, who've been going, probably going hard with the party and everything for the last few years, but they still look good, man, and they look like they're still enjoying it, which I suppose is still a bit, is, is it's pr fairly impressive to go through all that fame, to stick together. I know there's obviously been ups and downs throughout the past from the little knowledge that I have of the band, but to still be looking like they're enjoying music that much just two years ago, and the fact that they're still touring to this day is pretty impressive, but man, uh, Metallica just, you just know what you're getting every single time. I very rarely come out of a Metallica video disappointed. Like, I don't think I have. The only one thing I'd say is probably when me and Amy did the reaction to the one music video where there was like that annoying dubbed voice over the top, which a lot of people agreed with me on. So uh, but yeah, man, Metallica, you just know what you're getting every time. Just pure class. I've got so much more to get to, man. I can't wait, man. The, the support on the channel lately has been absolutely crazy. So shout out to you guys, man. If you want to stick around, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe and um, ignore McGregor in the background, man. I'm going to deal with him uh, sooner rather than later. But uh, for the moment, he's going to stay there because it gives the ba background a bit of a, a bit of flair. But yeah, man, that's going to be this video. Please do drop a like if you have not already. Sub to the channel if you're new, guys. There's so much more Metallica to get to. You all know there's a Metallica playlist as well, which you guys can check out. Just check my playlist section and you'll see all of the Metallica reactions that I've done thus far if you want to keep up with them. And yeah, guys, that's going to be me for the video. I'm going to go and record some more videos, so stick around the channel, guys. That's going to be me. I'm out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.